gonna move this car so we can go. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, Already, the entrance this. looks very unique. There's like graffiti all over that thing. I got this. Alright, so now Slap City is a place where people pretty much run away from society. There's no government here, there's no laws or anything. It's a place where people can just live for free. My name's Ella. I'm the project manager here at Salvation Mountain. Okay. How's it going? I'm Cody. Oh, I'm doing great. Yeah, Welcome I'm Steve, the by the way. <laughs> so, we, how long have you been working here? How about a year. I've been out here in the slabs about five years. And who created this place? Leonard Knight created this place. Leonard Knight. He worked on it for 28 years in the desert. It is adobe, which is clay from the hill, mixed with hay and water to the consistency that you want, and it's covered in millions of gallons of paint. And when did wow. he start this? In 1984. 1984, wow, he's been around this for a while. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, even in the heat, he didn't stop working, even in the heat. And, and it gets to be 120 degrees out here for about a month and a half. Why did he do it? Um, he wanted to spread the God is love message. He started off with a hot air balloon in Nebraska. He worked on that for 15 years. And when he failed doing that, he started this. And here that you recommend going to see? Uh, East Jesus is an art garden that is up the way about a mile. Mm -hmm. You go up and you turn left, you'll see a sign. That is more Burning Man than religious. Okay. So how did this whole place form into a community? Slab City? Yeah. It was an old marine base that squatters have been squatting out for 50 years. I live with a gentleman who's lived out here 50 years and he's got the junkyard to prove it. And stuff from 50 years ago. That's pretty amazing. There's like no laws. Ah, uh, we make our own laws. I mean, we have the LEOs out here, law enforcement officers, you know. Okay. Stuff happens, they gotta be here. Yeah, yeah, you for know. sure. We have the same problems with any other community. Some theft, some tweakerism, but you know. That's we everywhere. kind of police our own. It's a really- That's fun. amazing. So how many people awesome. are here year round, you think? About 200. About 2,000 in the winter. 2,000? Yeah. New Year's Eve on the range, you're looking at 350 people in front of you dancing. Easy. Oh man, that's, that would be amazing. Yeah, be and cool like I see. said, you got everything from the cardboard shack house to the three hundred dollar thing with all the three hundred thousand dollar thing with all the kickouts. You know. What I mean? Yeah. But we're off grid here. You have to provide provide everything of your own. Everything. So can anyone just any day that we come and just move here? Absolutely. All right, let's go explore this place. It's really interesting. Look at this artwork. It's an amazing piece of art. It kind of reminds me of this abandoned place called the Holy Lands I did long ago. Man, it's hot. It's at least 110 degrees outside right now. Um, this place is located in the border between Arizona and California. So if you ever guys want to come, check it out. I recommend it. Oh, oh shape feels so good. This is so unique. Admired by Leonardo Art for creating this work of art. You know, not too many people follow their creative um, conscious or uh, their creative side. They usually just ignore it and then just continue on with their day. But this man right here spent his time and effort to uh, spread his love for God and created this work of art that's now here for many, many years. And a piece of art is actually made of uh, three things, clay, hay, and mud. So they put a lot of effort into making this thing and a lot of time was put into it. I really admire that a lot. So yeah, look, there's some hay inside here. So I think I found an old picture of Leonard Knight and his crew back in the day when they first created this place. Uh, I'm melting and I'm running out of water. Well, let's get on top of this hill. Oh yeah, for those of you who want to know how Slab City got its name, it's because this used to be an abandoned military camp from World War II, and the bunkers were called slabs. Really cool. And if you look off into a distance, you can see all um, the RVs, and those are pretty much everyone living here. So we just made it to the range, they call it. And this is pretty much where everyone gathers up at night. They have their own dinner and they have a show that plays right on stage over there. Wow, I just find it so unique how like, like nothing matches. Everything is just um, placed here. They just put what they have and create something out of it. Whoa, there's like a bazooka and two guns on that wall. East Jesus. This is part of Slab City. And 
they just got bottles lined up everywhere to create this. I don't even know what this is, but it's pretty cool. Look at Doggy Kong just chilling. It's like a, almost like a, a circus, man. But all about this is all Mad Max. Yeah, seriously. Look at this. This reminds me of uh, Chee Chee Bang Bang when that crazy dude invented some things. So cool. It's just weird seeing this in person. It's I feel like I'm just in some other world right now. Yeah, man, it feels like we're in our own new world. Entrance of this place. It's all powered by the, just the wind. Really cool. Can we explore up ahead? Yo, what is this? That dude got a respirator. He's like an urban explorer. I can't wait to take some pictures with my other camera. For now, I've just been hooked with this virtual reality stuff. I know it's unique and I don't think anyone's ever done virtual reality of Slab City before. So, it's really cool to um, show you guys in this perspective. Oh, uh, they're battling it out. This guy's got a gun, he's gonna destroy him. Wow, they just made robots out of everything. And look at this! A real skull. This is interesting. Here are two fat tail visions, here we trust. will not be revolutionized. It's like they turn their backs against um, technology and they're just showcasing it here. Whoa. That's dope. And pretty creepy. Look at this guy's head just dangling. Where am I right now? <laughs> Charlie at the first church of the chocolate martini. I make good thing. I do big fun. I get more laid. Rise and infect. I don't even know what they're trying to say. Oh, look at this wall, though. Super creepy with the dolls. Just found this cool spot. Koi wants a picture over here next to this robot dude. Look at this, though. Like, what could this possibly mean when someone created it? I don't know if it means anything. I think it's just a cool sculpture. <laughs> Maybe. Although it does have like a flower and like a death, like a skull. So it's like. The beauty of death, maybe. The I don't beauty know. of death. I'm just trying to like. <laughs> I guess I'm you just can trying just, to make up things. Yeah, and just interpret it yourself. And... Okay, so we're just taking a group photo shot. This is what we like to do when we explore these places. Just do another one. All right. Oh, well, I'm pretty much done with this tour. I'm um, just just say one more thing, and this really caught my attention. I really believe it. Like um. The media is just a load of bullshit, and that's what they're trying to portray right here. I'm not the guy to watch TV. And one of the reasons why is because I really... You know, so I think I'm done with the tour here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. But I just want to end this right here at this spot because I really believe that this is giving a message. And I believe it, kind of. You know, TV is wrong people's brains, and the media is kind of bullshit. One of the reasons why I don't watch TV is because, you know, I really think the mind is like a factory, and the thoughts that you can put into your head um, they can either be positive or negative and I just feel like the media gives so much negativity that I don't even care anymore about TV and TV shows and all that bullshit. I only like, the only things I do are listen to music that I like that are positive and um, I only follow, for example, I only follow the pictures that I want in my life on Instagram. I really believe that your thoughts are a product of you and so I just try to keep it um, nice and clean up there. Like I think it would be a lot nicer if TV or like the news showed
the good side of the world and what's going on. Um, not a lot of people want to watch that, so they just show like what the bad stuff of what's going on in the world because it just grabs the views and attention. It's all about the money in the end. But I mean, there's some shows for entertainment. As long as you know that TV is just for entertainment, and I think that's okay. But yeah, I think this is really cool of the message it portrays. But until next time, guys, peace out.